China is one of the most advanced countries in the world, both militarily and economically. It competes with America on some issues. Earlier, I mentioned the air defense systems of many countries such as America, Russia, Israel, and Ukraine. Today, I will talk about China's air defense systems. China has a very interesting military industry. While watching this video, they may even have taken some weapon systems out of service. They are very fast at this. Before I begin, I must say the following. I will not talk about how many defense systems there are because different sources give different information. China names its air defense systems in a very interesting way. The same missile system can have four to five different names. He can give a different name to the missile system he produces for himself, a different name to the export version, and a different name to distribute to allied countries. The validity of this video may be several months because China is introducing a new weapon system at each fair and decommissioning old systems. Because the Chinese started this business with cheap copies of the old Soviet systems. Starting from point zero, we will go up 700 kilometers. Let's start with the barreled anti-aircraft systems. Currently, China's most used anti-aircraft gun system type 61. Type 61 is actually a clone of the Russian ZU-23 weapon system. The only difference is the bullet diameters. The ZU-23 has a diameter of 23 mm, while the Type 61 has a diameter of 25 mm. Other parts are exactly the same. China has produced a large number of Type 61 systems. This system is available in both floor-mounted and vehicle-mounted versions. For example, the TPI-95 anti-aircraft system is the one using the Type 61 barrel. You can call this system Shilka, but Type 95 is a much more modern and advanced system than Shilka. Type 95s have their own radar and 25mm ammunition has a much higher range. The effective range of Type 95s can be up to 7,000 meters. Another modern system developed by the Chinese Army for ground forces is Type 9. From afar, the Type 9 looks very similar to Western anti-aircraft systems. China licensed 35mm guns from Erlikon Company in 1985 and produced a large number of them. The Type 9 is a fairly modern system, but the Type 730 is the most modern low-altitude anti-aircraft system in China's inventory. The Type 730 is the eastern equivalent of the famous American Phalanx system. America uses CRAM as the land version of the Phalanx system. The Chinese use a similar strategy. The Type 730 has both a Navy and a land version. The Type 730 is a highly effective weapon system with 630mm barrels. If the Phalanx system affects you, Type 730 will affect you much more. Now that the barreled anti-aircraft systems are gone, let's talk about man pads. This place is really confusing. China has long been imitating the Russian Strela and Igla systems under the name FN and QW. The effective range of Chinese manpads is not very clear, but the old versions can go up to 3,000 meters and the new versions up to 6,500 meters. For air defense, they use a different variation of the air-to-air -air PL-9 missile developed for aircraft. Another system they use for low altitude is the TY-90. TIE-90 is an infrared-guided low-altitude air defense system. This system has a range of 6,000 meters. Another system they use for low-altitude, HQ-7. The name may sound interesting, but you will understand when I say the Crotal Naval System. In the 80s, China was able to acquire some Crotal due to its close relations with France. They developed this system with the reverse engineering method. But the most advanced system used by China at low altitude is HQ-17. In this system, it is a reverse-engineered version of the Russian Thor M1 system. The range of missiles varies between 6 and 12 kilometers. In the latest versions of the HQ-17, the range of the missiles can reach up to 20 kilometers. So this system can be valid in medium altitude. If we talk about medium-altitude air defense systems, the most interesting air defense system used by China here is the HQ-6. This system has different names as LY-60 and PL-10. Don't ask why, 
I don't know either. HQ6 is a very interesting system. Thanks to the technology obtained from the Italians, they use a different version of the American Sparrow missile as HQ-6. The range of this system is 40 kilometers. As with all air defense missile systems of China, this system is semi-active radar homing. China's newly developed HQ-16 system will replace the HQ-SIXS in the future. The HQ-16 system is an advanced air system. It is claimed to be equivalent to Western systems in many ways. HQ-16 is exported abroad with the name LY-80 and the maximum range of this system is 40 kilometers. Another medium-altitude air defense system is the KS-1. The KS-1 air defense system, officially known as HQ-12, is a clone of the Russian Buk air defense system. The maximum range of these missiles is 50 kilometers and their maximum altitude is 25,000 meters. China claims that this system was developed to shoot down long-range bombers and stealth aircraft. If we talk about high-altitude air defense systems, there is fun here. Because they have plenty of domestic production systems and they have exploited the air defense systems in the Russian inventory. Almost all versions of the S-300 family produced to date are available in China's inventory. S-300 PMU, PMU-1, PMU-2, PMU-3, etc. China also has the S-400 air defense system in its inventory. Of course, China did not trust only Russia at high altitude. While China bought a lot of S-300 from Russia, they also got the idea to produce a significant amount of S-300 clones. HQ-9, the domestic system developed by China with the reverse engineering method of the S-300. China produces many different versions of the HQ-9. The range of these systems varies between 200 kilometers and 300 kilometers. The Chinese are developing more and more in air defense systems day by day. If you want to experience these weather systems first, you have to destroy one of the largest air forces in the world. Although the Chinese Air Force is not as ambitious as the Russian and American Air Forces, it is growing and renewing day by day. As you know, the Chinese Air Force consists of copies and clones of former Soviet-made warplanes. But China is quickly replacing these planes with new ones. They make warplanes like J-31, J-20, J-10. There is a lot of money in China and it spends it very wisely. But it's not over yet. Huge countries like China are not content with such standard air defense systems. China is a nuclear power. It has thousands of nuclear war weapons. If he threatens any country in this regard, he can carry out this threat. Of course, having this huge nuclear arsenal has another price. As you know, the North Korean leader constantly threatens America with nuclear missiles. But if you threaten the other party in this way, remember that the other party has nuclear power. The Korean leader may not have any intention to think about the future, but the Chinese government has a problem to think about his country, so he is developing special air defense systems. The Russians have the A-135 Amur and the U.S. has the CBI program. China has an anti-ballistic missile defense system and a video about it will come soon. Thanks for watching.